Hey guys, I just wanted to share an idea with you about a different way to use Google Slides with your students. Um, you know, usually when you use Google Slides, either you have the kids creating something brand new in Google Slides, or you have them viewing a presentation that you've made. And I want to show you an idea that turns Google Slides into something that's a little bit more interactive and kind of a middle ground. So the basic idea is that you would create slides that have um, sort of a locked background on them, where then the students can manipulate things on the front of the slide or in the foreground of the slide and move them around and drag and drop and such. So for example, the slide that you're looking at right now, um, all of these little bins that I have here are um, locked to the background but the vocabulary words are not. And so the students could come in here and they could drag and drop um, their vocabulary words into the appropriate bin. Okay, another example, um, I've locked the diagram on this slide down, I've locked the instructions down, but the students could grab the words and move them to the appropriate spot on the diagram. Okay, still another example, I locked down this image of a cell and I could give the students the vocabulary words to choose from here, and they could drag and drop them onto the appropriate um, place on the diagram. Or, okay, and here's where differentiation comes in, I could make one with no vocabulary words on it and have the students create them out of thin air. Um, and then maybe I could create another version of this, a duplicate of this, where they do have the vocabulary words and I could assign um, you know, one to some students and one to some other students, because now in Google Classroom, of course, you can assign things to specific students. You don't have to assign the same thing to every kid in your class. So let me show you how this works. So what you do is you go to View and you go to Master. So we're just using the Slide Master, and each layout has a master slide. So what I've done is I've actually replaced each different, um, uh, layout with a different picture or something of my own that then would give me an option for a locked background. And of course you don't have to use all these, you could do it with one slide, that would be plenty. You know, just throw it in as a warm-up in Google Classroom, that would be ideal. Um, you can put pictures in here, you can draw a line, this would be like a timeline, but anything you want that's to be locked in the background, instructions or the timeline, something like that, you would go ahead and put on this particular view, so in the, in the master view. Um, and you could even do, I'm gonna move myself out of the way here. You could even do like a little worksheet here and you know fill in the correct form of the word. I'm going back to German here. But, um, but you give the students some blanks and then they could fill them in. So all of this I want locked on the background, so I put it in this view. Um, even on this slide, I could even go through and, let's say I wanted them to label a ribosome, I could point to it with a little line. That line now is going to be locked on the background of the slide. So then I would just go back to view and I'd uncheck master and now I can't move that line. But the students now can add a text box and they could say that's a ribosome. Okay. Um, and then to add a new slide and add, get your background, all you have to do is go to this layout chooser and all of your stuff that you've created is there for you to choose from. And you add a little slide and now they have a locked background to play with. So just something a little bit different when you're assign, assigning things in Google Classroom, um, you know, you have options. It doesn't always have to be a document. Um, and this is kind of a different a little bit different way to use Google Slides. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm always here to help. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend.